Good day and welcome to this presentation about merging different practices into a more integrated digital delivery model. Organizations, they leverage multiple practices such as ITIL for service management or DevOps and Scrum for development and integrating with ops or scaling agile across many different teams using SAFE, for example, or TOGA for enterprise architecture, FinOps for managing your financials, and many other related practices such as related to risk and compliance. But the key question and challenge is, how do you blend all these different practices into a more integrated digital delivery model? Basically, a model that enables you to deliver faster and safer, ensuring compliance, reduce cost, and optimize customer experience. And to do that, you need to wire all the different disciplines together in your IT function. Basically, rewiring, redesign your IT function into creating a more integrated digital management system. So basically blending your service management uh, capabilities with your development and your cloud platform teams, your SecOps, which is often operated in silos. They all need to be connected or enterprise architecture, your risk and compliance and financial management and so on. Blending these practices together to optimize flow and create outcome for your business. And many organizations are currently working on this, transforming the operating model from, from this fragmented process and tooling landscape that we have today to more integrated digital delivery model organized around end-to-end -end value streams, automating end-to-end -end workflows, become data-driven, have the insight in value, risk, and costs, and basically creating more outcome for the business sooner. But the first thing we need to do is design this integrated digital management system, basically creating an architecture, a blueprint of how do we manage our new digital ecosystem. Now, this picture shows you what are those key capabilities? What are the building blocks that you need to optimize in your own organization? And of course, how do you connect all these capabilities together in an integrated blueprint? This picture shows you the key capabilities from a strategic planning perspective, the development and testing, deployment, your monitoring, incident management, and so on, but also the supporting capabilities, such as managing your costs, your risks, your teams, and contracts with your vendors. But the key question now is, how do I really build this integrated digital operating model, leveraging different best practices in the market? For example, we have TOGA for enterprise architecture, or we have skilled agile frameworks, or, or still maybe have project management methodologies like Prince2, development practices, Trim, DevOps, IT service management practices, ITIL, security risk and compliance practices, such as NIST or ISO 27001, and of course, financial management practices like FinOps. Each of these practices come with their own terminology, their own processes, typically also different underpinning tools, like an IT service management system or your SecOps tools or your FinOps tools or your development tools or your architecture system. But now the need is more and more important to integrate these practices into an end-to-end -end integrated delivery model. So let us explore what practices do you need to implement this integrated digital management system? And let's start with ITIL. ITIL 4 nowadays had a lot of practices defined. But I here I, I basically make a plot of where is ITIL actually used in most of, or most organizations. So ITIL is typically used on the on a subset of this digital management system, basically supporting instant problem change, configuration management, service level management, having a catalog, and so on. So ITIL is leveraged here and typically supported by a service management system like ServiceNow. In addition to ITIL, we need other practices because on the development side, people will not use ITIL. They have maybe Scrum and DevOps practices they leverage. So managing the backlog, doing the design, build and test and deployment. And this means that we need to integrate DevOps practices and ITIL. And they have some overlap as you could see on the change management side but they really extend each other. They can really bridge the whole development and ops together, bring, bridging DevOps and ITIL to, to enable DevOps, basically. 
But as we don't have just one team, we might have dozens of different product teams. So we need to scale agile development. And that's where we see scaling agile practices to organize your backlog on portfolios, value streams. And we see here practices like lean portfolio management, or we can use scaled agile framework like SAFE. But the need is to scale your agile delivery across multiple business units, multiple teams that they need to work together, basically managing your portfolio backlog. Now here you see that SAFE also doesn't cover everything. SAFE is really a, a, a framework for the development part. It doesn't cover ops. It doesn't cover incident or problem management or request management or configuration management or even monitoring. So here we see we need to connect skilled agile practice to DevOps and ITIL together. Um, the next element that we need to add is architecture management. And having a solid architecture capability is very important. And um, we have, we see, for example, TOGAF as a key practice in this area. So where we maintain our current state, target state architecture and associated roadmaps, basically facilitating the change that we need in our digital organization. And on the security side, typically there are separate practices. Like for security operations, we see NIST as a key practice. So we need to combine security operations with NIST into this overall framework. And then we have some supporting capabilities. Now let's start with financial management. Financial management is a key capability, understanding your consumption, understanding the cost and the cost efficiency, identify cost improvements, uh, and ability to charge back IT services and consumption to the right uh, business units and stakeholders. And here we see FinOps and TBM as key practices that we leverage there. And of course, related to risk and compliance, there are many other frameworks like COBIT and ISO 27001. So integrate risk compliancy into this overall model. And then on the team and, and people side, we see uh, competency frameworks like SVI and, and, and the European Competency Framework. So SVI is used to identify the key competencies and skills in your organization. And the last building block practice we need to add is we need to manage our multi-vendor ecosystem. The ability to exchange data with our vendors, so it's linked to this ecosystem where we work with many different partners. And here we have SIAM practices that we leverage, manage the service integration of our organization with many other vendors. And we see an increasing number of vendors we need to work with. So here you see basically the, the buildup of your digital management system and the key practices that are typically needed to be combined to make this work. So the challenge is, how do you combine different best practices such as ITIL, supported by your service management system, your DevOps practice supported by your development platform, your skilled agile delivery framework, such as SAFE, managing your portfolio backlogs, uh, TOGA for enterprise architecture, NIST for security, FinOps, ISO 27001, SVIA, and SIAM. And of course, you don't need everything for, uh, from these practices. You take the right components from these practices but you can only do that if you already have thought about this end-to-end -end digital operating model design so you can leverage these practices and how should these be integrated. If you focus on integration, we wanna make IT flow from idea to production. That means you need to integrate these various capabilities, the practices, the tools, the data, the teams, they have to work together in an integrated way. So let me illustrate what that means, integration. For example, we have our strategic portfolio management capability where we build our epic, portfo epic portfolio of epics and, and strategic goals uh, that has impact on our product and service portfolio. And we have uh, we evaluate continuously our products and services to create roadmaps, managing a life cycle, maybe rationalization, modernization opportunities that drive new demands. So basically, we need an integrated strategic management capability, managing the portfolio of epics, tightly integrated with your product portfolio and your architecture and strategic goals. The next part is, yeah, once we have our portfolio and strategic plans identified, of course, we, we need to, to flow that work into the product teams. They have their agile backlog. They're starting to design. And a design capability needs to be fully integrated with risk and compliance management for security and privacy by design. So we need to assess the risks of our services, the integrations, the data. And that um, drives new requirements that the design needs to take care of. We're starting to build our services, design and, and deploy them and testing those. 
and we have a CI/CD pipeline that automatically triggers the creation of a change in a change management process. For example, ITIL change management into a, serv a service management system. And we automatically get a change approval. We start to deploy using deployment practices and tools there. And once we have deployed something, we automatically update the CMDB so we know what is running where. And we started to monitor our services, both from a security perspective, as well as what we call observability or AI ops, end-to-end -end monitoring from a business process to the application to the underlying infrastructure. And the ability to proactively detect issues and remediate them through automation. And if we cannot automatically remediate, we create an incident, assign it to the right team, and in some cases, we identified patterns and trends, and we try to continuously improve, prevent incidents, creating a problem. And a problem is, is basically fed back into the product teams, in the agile backlog of our product team. So we have the feedback loop. And here you already see a lot of integrations and end-to-end -end flows that are enabled. And based on the data, of course, we can monitor compliance and risk and be able to report compliance, but also looking at our cost and financials, understanding the consumption of IT resources and cost and, and budgets associated with that. So this picture shows basically how everything should be connected together to create flow. As I mentioned, you need an architecture, a design for this end-to-end -end digital operating model. And you can use the IT for IT standard for this blueprint, defining your digital management architecture, looking at the flows, the capabilities, the data, and the systems automation that you need. And then you can select the right practices to build this end-to-end -end model. So basically, IT for IT provides that foundation, defining the blueprint, the common data model the common, basically, end-to-end -end flows that you need to optimize your IT. And that is combined with Agile and DevOps practices, and of course, integrated with architecture practices, TOGAF, ITIL, NIST for SecOps, but also supporting capabilities like related to risk and compliance, basically building that integrated digital capability model. Now, coming back to the first picture of my presentation, um, the need to rewire your organization. Hopefully you realize now that if we want to deliver faster and safer, reduce costs, optimize the customer experience and ensure compliance, we need to integrate the different practices such as, such as service management or development or your architecture, your risk compliance, your strategic portfolio management, platform teams operating the cloud, for example, financial management, security operations, vendor management, license management, and so on. We need to connect these disciplines, these practices, these tools, and the data together in an integrated management system. That is the only way to deliver faster and safer. And that means we need to move from an ego system as we have today with the development people, the ops people, the security people, architects, and so on. Then we move to an ecosystem where we all collaborate and work together, work together to build this integrated management system aligning the ways of working, creating common terminology, common processes, common data models, common platforms to manage IT, really working together to deliver a value and outcome to the business. Hope you enjoyed this presentation about how to blend different practices together in a more integrated digital delivery model. If you have any ideas or feedback or questions, don't hesitate to contact me. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good day.